Hey, what up, dogs? Welcome back to Garo Attacks. Clip your heroes. Rar, let's get right back into it, shall we? Last episode, we, uh, we gave away our hero souls to Solomon, Seolatas, and Morghulis. And as you can see, they're a little higher than they were in the last episode. That's because I totally, once again, forgot to spend my 120 rubies, or at least 100 of them, on getting quick ascension so i got two of those got like almost another million in hero souls so i pumped them into these guys right here so this is the new solomon level cool this is the new Seolata's level cool and this is a new morgue level doesn't look too different so without further ado now after all that we're gonna ascend boom okay remember what we do we go to, you know progression we oh sorry i was almost about to hit the clickable we kill this guy, we're still an idol. I take this, take all these, and we get a billion dollars, okay? And that billion dollars gives us uh, almost 100 levels of Atlas. Okay. Oh, it gives us just over 10. So we're gonna wait until Resurrection comes along. There we go. Yeah. Oh, look, there's some more. There's some more money for us. That's great. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And there's some more. Alright, now that Atlas is fucking useless, we're gonna go back here and uh, get uh, 200 levels of King Midas and Abaddon. And get all of these, uh, first and foremost. Oh, and then Dark Ritual, and then get 200 levels in everyone. So we can uh, get ready for uh, the crazy awesome damage we'll be doing soon. Strap in, ladies and gentle folks. We're about to take you on a wild ride down the dirty, dirty corridors of uh, Clicker Heroes here. Yeah, it's 200, right? Yeah, I did it. And, uh, yeah, give the rest of Frost Leaf, right? Oh, whoops. Accidentally, uh, Went a little off. Oh, there's another budgie. Oh, and yeah, buy the local upgrades. There it is. So much money. And you only got 10 more seconds before, uh. Yeah, 10 more seconds before we get back into idle mode, and that should really make a difference here. Well, money wise, it'll make a difference. There it is. Okay. Yeah, we're back in idle mode, and we're back getting a ton of money, so... And yeah, spend all that. Yes! Frost Leaf at 1,200. And, uh, we're already at the ampersands. After the ampersands, as you know, it's gonna be the stars. And after the stars... Or the... the yeah, the star sides. We're gonna be up the... You know, at the exponents, and then soon enough, we're gonna get Terra. And that's gonna be fun! It's gonna be a good time. I, uh, I already can't wait to see how many uh, hero souls we'll get on this uh, this ascension right here. And I don't mean just the regular hero souls, but like the ascend four hero souls. That's gonna show us exactly how uh, how much um, what's it called? It's gonna show us exactly how much uh, how much progress we've made in pumping as many hero souls into Solomon as possible, basically uh, getting them to as high a level as possible, which is you know. So far, he's at 921. I'm hopefully gonna try and get him to like a thousand after this ascension, but who knows? Uh, and after that, it's just gonna be, you know, as as much as we can, uh, just get him, get him, get him good, get good, dog. Step one, get. Step two, good. All right. But um, yeah, I don't know if you saw the last episode, but. Uh, throat still scratchy mostly because i'm recording this episode like 12 seconds after the last episode so there you go now you know you know the secret's out it's all a big lie <laughs> no, no 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 i am not secretive about my recording uh schedule i do it basically four episodes a day or so okay yeah that's yeah makes a lot of sense it is exactly four episodes a day um how come we're not getting yeah i was, I was saying like I was, yeah, I was looking at it for all i was like we haven't gotten that like 50 stars in like 
30 levels right there. That was ridiculous. But, um, what the fuck just happened? My phone just vibrated. Sorry, my phone never vibrates. It usually just, like, dings or, like, does something. What's the vibration indicate? That vibration indicates that something happened on Facebook? Oh, uh, some Armenian stuff is going on. I don't know if y'all know, but I am an Armenian. Okay, and as an Armenian, it, during the month of April, shit's a pretty, uh, you know, shit's a pretty sensitive time for us. Alright? So be as nice as you can in the comments if you, if you can. Uh, after all, this is episode 196, uh, part 1. So, uh, uh, that 200th episode coming very, very soon. Um, and, uh, hopefully what I want to do is I want to set, you know, because today I have off. It's, uh, I'm off completely. So it's basically like me getting ready. Oh, nice. I can level her up a few times. Uh, me getting ready for, um, to be able to film that episode. Because, uh, the fact that I, you know, the fact that I can take off a day from work, you know, entirely, it means that it is able to happen, you know, it's 1,000%, you know, just the, the, you know, the ability is there, so it's just I'm not doing it today, one, because it's not the 200th episode, and two, because my throat's kind of killing me, so we're, uh, we're instead just gonna do this ascension run just like normal, and, uh, We'll see where it goes from there, but for right now, we'll, um, you know, we'll just speculate. See what, see what happens. And, um, there's a, oh my god, the, the trolling, the trolling never ends. My, my favorite man of all time, uh, favorite friend of all time, uh, the guy who, uh, comments on my videos all the time, uh, what's his, what's his fucking name again? I'm sorry. Dan, Dan Ali? Yeah, it's Dan Ali. Sorry. I just had to think about it. for It was like on the tip of my tongue. But Dan Ali, the, the trolling never stops with this man. He's a, I love him. I love him to death. But like, he's the, he's the physical embodiment of trolldom. And uh, he was like, just, uh, just, you know, superimpose your last eight ascension runs into the current one that you're doing uh, for every single video that you do on, um, on the 200th episode extravaganza, and I'm like, okay, alright. <laughs> now, now you're just fucking with me. Yeah, I, before I was like, uh, you know, before I was like, oh, a 24 hour episode, I could maybe, you know, conceptualize that in a way where it might be able to be possible, even though I sort of think you may be joking. I'm like, I, I think about that sort of thing, and I'm just like, you know what, we might be able to do it, you know? But then, this motherfucker comes back with this shit, and I'm like, alright, you son of a bitch, Dan Ali. <laughs> if I ever find you in the real world, I'll give you a throttling, my good sir. And not the sexy kind, the, the dangerous kind, because I'm a dangerous man. Do you hear my voice? My deep, gravelly voice? Excuse me, I had to take a drink of a uh, sip of water right there, but, uh, but yeah. Yeah, I'm dangerous. Don't, don't you dare cross me, you motherfucker. Nah. Thank you so much for everyone who uh, comments and leaves uh, likes and uh, subscribes to my videos and my channel. Um, I, uh, I owe basically everything to you guys, which is so awesome, which is why I feel like the 200 uh, episode extravaganza is not asking too much of me. It's asking exactly enough of me uh, for like my fans. Uh, who enjoy watching my shit, enjoy seeing a seasoned veteran of the game progress in a fucking meaningful way. Um, I started this, uh, if, if, you know, you don't know the history of the channel, I, uh, or the history of me starting to play this game on the channel. I basically started this game, um, on the channel around the time it came out on Steam, because, you know, that's when it started becoming popular. Um, but I have been, you know, dedicatedly sort of on and off, possibly, which is just the biggest oxymoronic phrase that I could think of, uh, playing this game for like a year before that happened. So I was at like a, I was pretty far in the game by the time I started, but I had no idea that, you know, 
how not far in the game I was. Like, people who are playing the game right now are where I was when I, uh, when I was a year in. And it's... And, <laughs> and this game hasn't even been out a year on uh, Steam yet. So people are, like, people are progressing, man. And I think it's mostly because people choose to do active builds on YouTube channels over idle builds. Uh, because, you know, it's, it's much more dynamic, it's exciting, and you're like, oh, I use all the fucking abilities there over here. I'm just like, dude, I'm over here to talk about religion and politics and fucking uh, having sex with bitches all day, every day. All day, or a day. I ain't here to... <laughs> I here to plunge the depths of this deal. Oh, it's just so deep this game. Clicker heroes clicking on enemies until they're dead. Except you know I'm yeah I'm not actually clicking on them. As you can see, they're dying on their own behalf. It's uh, you know it's an existential you know look at how the uh, the video game world has progressed in a sort of way. I, I was talking with uh, Rebecca about it. And Rebecca, if you guys remember from. Uh, an episode, those series of episodes where I was sort of maybe kind of allegedly, you know, maybe high, but, uh, but, um, so I, uh, so I was talking with her about, like, it the other day, and she was just like, oh, are you still playing that game? And I was like, which one? And she was like, oh, I, I don't know which games you're playing these days, all those games that just play themselves, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> just like that's a very apt way to put it basically all the games that are popular these days are just like uh, this one sort of but even the triple-a games it's games that just play themselves I uh, I don't know if you heard about the game bravely default um, but it's basically almost the same thing I think uh, from what I heard it's like an idle game an idle RPG game it has more depth and possibly a story to it, I think, but it's still, you know, an idle game. Holy shit, we got the relic use. Uh, what's this? Liberatus? Gay. Heck of touch here. Gay. Alright. Pretty gay. Sorry. I don't mean to offend the gay folks out there. I love all of you. Not physically, but, you know, the, you know, the principle, uh, it's the principle of the thing. I love you guys, principality, principality, principally, like a principal would. Uh, but um, uh, but yes, uh, fucking um, yeah. Th but that relic was shitty. But we do have five now, and now we can figure out what that uh, thing was. So let's let's go ahead and do it. Save. Yeah, it's gonna do some shit. Blah 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 blah. Don't care. Just gonna go to that website now website and uh, it's not gonna you know it's gonna tell us a bunch of shit but um, paste but, uh, but we're not gonna listen to any of it we're just gonna go to the relics side of things and it's gonna tell us yeah the efficiency of all of these uh, relics versus the frog faction of freedom yeah frog faction of freedom gives us zero percent efficiency whereas the rest gives us a lot in fact the hand wraps of souls is probably the best one and all that does this gives us uh, four chance primal bosses, uh, some golden clicks, blah blah blah, some gold drop, and 10% primal hero souls, which is good. The cheapest one, the one we should lose first, would be the confusing magnet of luck, which is 3% chance of double rubies, 2% chance of primal bosses, minus 3% boss life, and 50% gold drop. So that, that makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, it's, it's good to know which one's the best and which one's the worst so that we can figure out uh, like the other shit later and shit but yeah good stuff good so look she's banana again hold on hold on let's uh okay let's get, purchase this let's go here she's still but no okay she's og again what the fuck this happened in the last episode and i was like what i did exactly the same way i was just like what the fuck what's going on here but um yeah, whatever. Well, um, blah blah blah. So okay. So presuming that they fix the um, the online ancients optimizer bullshit website, you know, hopefully they'll fit more relics into it. You know, offering the chance to have other relics. Uh, you know, make the make the you know make the cut, as they would say. In fact, what I'm gonna do. 
So I'm gonna salvage this bullshit right here. That way, if we do get a relic from this motherfucker down here, uh, it would only give us like one relic. Uh, then I would see whether that relic's good or not. This is, you know, and before, beforehand, I, uh, you know, I liked to keep around one relic at least, uh, just because, um, you know, if we're ever, uh, if we accidentally ever hit clickstorm or get a bee that gives us clickstorm or get a, uh, uh, what's it called, a quest that's a skill activation that gives us clickstorm, we can uh, maybe switch off the ranger gloves, uh, which gives us 52 seconds of clickstorm onto something that doesn't give us that, but I have a sneaking suspicion that that's not how it works. I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, once the clickstorm procs, it'll go off the relic that you had previously equipped as opposed to the one that you have equipped now, so I don't think that's going to help us out. So, a lot of reasons why that previous, uh, you know, um, that previous, uh, what's, what's it called, uh, tactic is not going to work in this day and age. I'm going to level up Atlas as far as we and okay, oh, man, that was shitty. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay. And on that note, we're gonna end the episode. Like, subscribe, comment if you're enjoying the series this far. I know I am. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.